Ryan Bryan here on a day out adventure in the beautiful little town of Blowing Rock, North Carolina. Several times each year, we make the 3,000 foot climb into the North Carolina mountains from Charlotte to enjoy a relaxing day strolling through this small community and also enjoy temperatures that are about 10 degrees cooler than the North Carolina Piedmont. Today, low clouds have descended upon the town, adding an additional element of ambiance. Some might say that Blowing Rock is a sort of artist colony. Others simply like the quaint shops and restaurants that line Main Street. And yet others simply like to while away the hours relaxing in the park. In fact, the town is appealing for all of these reasons. Don't neglect venturing down some of the narrow alleyways. You never know what you might discover. As one continues down Main Street, we find the Brass Exchange, one of Mrs. Flying Brian's favorite shops. They carry a wide variety of home and yard decorations that cover a variety of tastes and seasons. Across the street is another group of shops, cafes, and restaurants, like this food and wine store. With cozy outdoor seating in front of several charming boutiques. A little further down the road is the Funky Tulip, a ladies apparel and jewelry shop. This is the Martin House. Dating from 1870, it was once a private residence, later a boarding house, and now home of several great little boutiques. This little building is the Town Museum which was once a cottage associated with the long-defunct Watauga Inn. Strolling past Memorial Park, one cannot help but admire the floral arrangements that line the sidewalk. Who is this interloper relaxing in the middle of the garden? Adjacent to the park is the Town Hall. Chief William D. Green died in the line of duty when he was shot and stabbed by two men in a vehicle he had stopped in the early hours of 18 January 1963. This is the Blowing Rock Market, which was once a sort of general store and town gas station but now it's an upscale wine and goods shop, complete with the sounds of some genuine mountain folk music.
we have made our way down to the north end of Main Street to a shop called The Last Straw. Let's go inside and see what it's all about. This shop carries a wide variety of creations made and crafted by local artists. But what is this on the wall? A benchmark placed here by the USGS. And its center is exactly 3,579.150 feet above mean sea level. Well, that's good to know. Let's take a look inside. Each of these spaces has creations from a different artist. Walking a bit farther down Main is the Speckled Trout Restaurant, offering not only great food, but a wide variety of regional beers and wines that go with every meal. And if the weather is nice, a relaxing outdoor dining area. What is this? Flora of the Mountains by Robert Johnson. A gift to the community, July 2006. Excellent. I don't know about you, but we're getting a bit hungry. We work our way down a long, narrow pathway off of Main Street and find this old white clapboard home, now a restaurant, a village cafe. After a short wait, we are seated. Alas, the air conditioner is not working, and it's a bit too hot and steamy in the old home. So, we go back up to Main Street in the Sixpence Pub, an English-style restaurant that is also very popular. This looks fantastic, and it's time to dig in. Folks, that was an absolutely enjoyable day out here in the little town of Blowing Rock. I hope you enjoyed it as well. We will return again soon. Until then, remember, life is a journey. Enjoy the ride, and thank you for watching.